Hello and welcome to Shropshire. I'm on my way to a lake. The county actually features quite heavily my own ancestry, my own roots. A coal miner from Radnorshire just across the border married a girl from Shropshire and they had children. Some of those kids went back into Wales, Llanbothlin in Montgomeryshire for example, others made their way east across England and my dad was born in Wolverhampton as a result of that movement. So I'm very proud to be English. I'm also equally proud of my Welsh roots. But today it's Shropshire for me. I'm going after Tench and of course, as always, I'll be bringing you the action as I make my way to the lake in due course through these very picturesque woods. Welcome to Shropshire. On arrival, I baited up brown crumb and sweet corn. Then I tied my rig. I'm fishing a hair rig setup and an SBS corn shaped boilie on the bottom. No need for a popper. Keep it nice and simple. I've now cast out and the waiting game begins. I say that when I'm carp fishing, but hopefully this time it won't be as long as it is when I'm out after those big carp. I've done quite a few overnighters recently, thoroughly enjoyed them. I've enjoyed the short lure sessions and I'll certainly will enjoy the visit to this particular venue this afternoon. It's a late afternoon and I'm going to have a, a few hours and see how it goes. I might fish up to dark, I might pack away before then. That's the beauty of angling, isn't it? You can go out and give yourself plenty of time and then you can head for home when you want to. It's been an incredibly slow session. I've been here about two hours so far, nothing at all. I'm in a spot where I've regularly caught tench, good numbers of fish as well, and some decent ones along the way, nothing. And then I had the slightest of plucks I struck, played a fish briefly, just for a, a few seconds or so, and then I had the dreaded hook pull. That fish seemed quite sluggish, so for some reason, that seems to be the way it is. Certainly in this particular session anyway, the fish might not be feeding, hopefully I'll draw them in the area, and tench are shoalfish, of course. So the positive thing is that although I had that hook pull, nevertheless, there could be more out there waiting for me. Well, that's the hope anyway. I've got bait out there. I know the rig's okay. The bait's fine. My setup, my approach, the tackle, everything. I've ticked all the boxes. So as far as all that's concerned, I've done everything that I can. It's now down to the fish to do their bit, put in an appearance and make my day because I don't want to really end this uh, session. It would be my last session on here actually um, this uh, summer for Tench with a blank because I've been on furlough for some months now, but I have had a call to say that I'm in on Monday. So I'll just rearrange my fishing plans as you do. I'll still be fishing but different places and well I've got busy uh, weeks ahead of me now. I've got a schedule of games on Saturdays that involve well all across the Midlands, uh, North Wales, South Wales, um, Liverpool training ground and a game against Wolves as well so I'm looking forward to all those fixtures. Hopefully they will take place because the coronavirus situation does seem to be uh, changing and taking a turn for the worst. And then also that if the games do go ahead as media, we'll still be allowed to go along and cover them. Well, lots of uncertainty, but one thing for sure, wherever I am, whatever I'm doing, I'll certainly be casting a line somewhere along the line, along the line. I'll be casting a line somewhere.
the wind has dropped and that means that I can see across the lake and the great news is that there are tench feeding bubbles in the area that I baited so that's a hopeful sign at least I have another hour to go before dark I did say at the beginning I didn't know how long I would stay for but of course when you haven't caught anything then you do tend to stay a little longer than maybe you would have originally intended and certainly with those fish feeding out there that's a massive encouragement because it's been incredibly still and quiet as far as the fish are concerned but my confidence levels were high anyway I thought I'll catch even if it's just one fish right at the end you always have to be confident when you go fishing at the same time you have to be realistic and you can't order fish to be caught can you I'm into a fish I've been playing it for about 30 seconds or so it's coming in and I would really like to get this one in the net for obvious reasons next time you see me hopefully I will be cradling attention I've got the mat underneath me unfortunately no fish <laughs> right at the edge and I mean right at the edge I got the net in the water and the fish made a lunge for the reeds no problem I was in control and then the hook came free <laughs> I'll tell you what though they're still feeding out there the bubbles are still going strong I'm going to see if I can get another bite of the cherry third time lucky as they say, I've cast out again. I said my little prayer to the tinker gods. <laughs> and well, let's see, shall we? <laughs> it's time to pack away. As you can tell from the screen, we're well into dusk now. No night fishing allowed, so I have to be off. Otherwise, I tell you what, I would, I would stay until I catch something. The feeding bubbles are out there, the tenture in the swim, a couple of hook pulls of course, but these things happen and I'm still going to put this out as a blog entry for the simple reason that as anglers it doesn't always go to plan. But stepping back, looking at the big picture, I'll tell you what, I've enjoyed this session out here in the great outdoors kingfishers darting around wonderful world of nature we're still in summer dragonflies they've been all over the place I've enjoyed watching them and apart from the fish well it's been a good afternoon and evening here in Shropshire if you are out and about yourself well I sincerely hope that your lines are tighter than mine have been today and at least you get something in the net. I have had a couple of tight lines but no fish. See you soon.